What is going on people, Jada Black here, back with another video, shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I know you're looking at the title, and you're looking at the thumbnail, and you're wondering how both translate. And I'm going to tell you, uh, DeAndre Hopkins will be a subject of this video, okay? And he will be a subject because apparently he got this IG model. And I believe she's actually a real model. She modeled for Yeezy, for the Yeezy brand, whatever. Well, he obviously was dating this female secretly, and he ended up getting her pregnant. And he already has children by other women. Once again, these brothers cannot control themselves when it comes to dealing with these women. I don't understand it. I really don't. You have a lot to protect. And you think because you're making a lot of money that you can just have unprotected sex with these chicks, man. You got to understand. When these chicks are sleeping with you, they're sleeping with other men at the same time. Okay. Just because you DM'd her and you flew her out and you mess around with her don't mean that she ain't doing the other. She's not doing that with other dudes because she is. Now, maybe they're they're smart and they're actually wearing protection, but the fact that you're not, it, it, it lends credence to what a lot of black women are saying about these brothers, these, these black pro athletes and their lust or love for white women. Now, I will say this, though. You have black pro athletes, okay, who date, marry black women, but they also date and marry white women or non-black women, biracial women, whatever. But we're going to keep this between black and white because... The narrative is that a lot of these guys want white women only or mostly, you know. Even when these dudes are with light skinned women, they get bashed, you know. It, as long as it, she it's almost as if these guys have to be with a dark skinned black woman in order for these women to ease up, you know. Now, I made a video. I'm, I'm I don't know if it's public. Maybe once I post this video, I'll make it public. If it's still on the channel. I posted a very controversial video. <clears throat> Got a lot of views. And I spoke on why black men are choosing uh, unattractive white women over black women. Okay? And a lot of people didn't like that video. We had a lot of black women who didn't like it. You have brothers who didn't like it, but it's my content. I'll say whatever I want, okay? See, I, I, that's the thing I used to do. I kind of got away from that, you know? I used to post videos like that all the time, you know, really just putting ideas and thoughts out there and just seeing where the chips will fall, you know? But when you put up videos like that, you're going to get very strong responses, just like I know I'm going to get strong responses from this one. Because I do believe there are a group of black men, not a very big one, but there are a group of black men who are going to choose white women every day of the week because they didn't grow up with white women. The only time they got around white women is when they went to college. But when you see a brother from Miami or from Houston or let's say from Detroit, Atlanta, and he goes to Nebraska he goes to Washington, you know, he goes to a Boise State. There may be a few of those guys are going in for the white girls. Let's just be real. OK, <laughs> they're going in for the white girls. You know, they're choosing these particular schools over other schools they could have went to because there's going to be Becky's there only or mainly, you know. <laughs> so we do know that that, that happens. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But that's not the majority. But what happens is when you have a situation like the Jalil Adai situation where he's, he, this idiot and his and his buddies are around a table, a round table of swirling, and they're toasting to lighter skinned children, that makes a lot of these guys look bad. It really does. Because these guys are already dating white women. So, you know what I'm saying? And I will say this, though. Usually those guys got comfortable dating white women in college. They didn't date white women in high school. 
a lot of these guys probably came from predominantly black neighborhoods. They came from predominantly black high schools. And they went to college, they were around a different type of female. Females who were a lot more feminine, a lot more submissive, and a lot more of a girlfriend. You know, they weren't nagging. They weren't trying to physically fight them, you know? They were in a situation where they were comfortable. They got comfortable dating those Beckys. And that's the truth that black women don't want to understand. They don't want to understand that these guys, um, especially in football, you have to go to college. You have to go to college. You're getting out of that you know, comfort zone and you're going to a place where you've never been to. You're around new people in a new environment and you're dating a different type of female. So what happens is these guys get drafted into the NFL, right? They're pros now. You're going to have even more white women, but you're going to have way more attractive white women, okay, who are models of this, that, and the third. You got black women who are hitting them up as well. But because they've gotten used and comfortable dating those white women, you know, they will end up choosing those women. Or they'll marry their the girlfriends from college. Or maybe even high school, because some of these brothers go to high school with white women. Because a lot, because you do have a lot more of these guys going to private schools in high school. So you do have them dating white girls in high school too. So they're comfortable that they date these chicks in high school, they date them in college. And in the pros, that's who they're dating. Because these girls to them are more girlfriend material. I know you sisters don't want to hear this, but those are facts. <clears throat> Just like you got sisters who will say they're dating men in their environment. That means they're dating non-black men, you know, and they're not going to tell you how they used to swear off black men because they did knowing how emotional black women can get. I'm pretty sure there are black women who in their environments were swearing off black men. But when they realize that at the end of the day, men are just men, no matter the race. Now they want to come back saying they pro black. Now they want to talk about how they're against dating interracially, but they weren't before. When they were in a different environment but once they've gotten out of that environment and they see the world for what it is and they see that men are going to be men no matter what race they are all of a sudden now they want to come back to the table now all of a sudden they got a fist in the air they want to go natural <clears throat> for the most part some of these chicks will never go natural i don't care how much how black their fist is i don't care how conscious they claim to be they're still going to be self-haters. They're still going to hate how they look in the mirror. This is why they lighten their skin. This is why they wear hair that isn't theirs, because they hate who they are. And they try to project that hatred onto you as a black man, even these black pro athletes. Michael B. Jordan is not a black pro athlete, but he is constantly getting attacked because he's not walking around with an average dark-skinned chick. And y'all know that's true. You got sisters that, that claim they don't care who Michael B. Jordan is dating, but y'all be in in those comment sections or those posts dissing this guy for no reason. The guy has never dissed you, so you can never win with him. You really can't. You cannot win with black women. You know, you got a guy who's not bashing them. They bash it. They go at him anyway. You got a dude who wants lighter skinned children who basically ain't checking for no black women. Y'all go at him as if he's the worst thing ever. But... There's really no winner in the situation with either guy because to to certain black women, they're the enemy regardless because those black women don't want to be with black men. OK, they realize black men are their only option. And because they're angry about that, they just want to make all black men seem the same. And that's not how it is. It's not how it is. You can disagree all you want to with the facts or the facts. There's a lot of self-hatred. The women who talk about being the pro-black is the most, have biracial children, have been married to white men or dated them. Their friends are mostly white. That's why you don't see them in photographs with other black women. The only black friends they have are the black women who are following them on YouTube or on Twitter or on Facebook. That's the only black friends they have. You look up photos of them, they're with white people. They went to college with mostly white people. They have no real black experience. You can tell in their vernacular and how they speak. They're uncomfortable being around you niggas, man. And, and, and that's the thing is that I've spoken on this and I have pulled back 
from speaking on these type of situations, but certain events have made me revisit my talking points. And that is, yes, there are black men who are going to choose white women over you. You need to get over that. This is what happens when for years, all you do is play games, you be picky and you pick the wrong men still, and it gets to a point to where black men wake up, they take the red pill, they move on. And when you're, and when you're seeing that, now all of a sudden you wanna play the race card. You wanna talk about how, oh my God, why are you dating Becky? But you didn't care about them dating Becky when you thought they didn't have any op options except you. But now that you see that these brothers have options, now you wanna put your fist in the air with your long uh, blonde weave and talk about how they need these these brothers are self haters. They love white women. They want biracial children, but you're the one sitting there with biracial children. You know, you've dated out your race more than anybody. But because you think because people don't know you that they don't see through you, but that's but that's not the case. Uh we can see right through you, you know? So I think that th this whole vitriol towards a lot of these guys who are just dating in a race, they're not even bashing black women. I can see if these guys are disrespecting you verbally. If you wanna go at those guys, go at them. But when you go at dudes, athletes, they're just out there just dating, you know what I'm saying? And then you still go at them because they're just with a white girl and they're not with you, just lets me know everything I didn't know about you. You're just jealous. Now I'm not saying at all, I'm just saying the women who are bitter about who these brothers are dating. I don't condone being self-haters. I really don't. But you can't dick police these guys and tell them who they want to date. Nobody's telling you telling you who you want to date. You need to stop trying to dick police these brothers who have way more options than the average brother. But even the average brothers are being dick police. A, a brother can can post a photo on Facebook or Instagram and he would get attacked if he praised his relationship with a non-black girlfriend or wife. He will get attacked, you know? And it's unfortunate because everybody have a life to live. You should be living yours as well instead of always seeking enemies where well, there are none. If people are being blatantly disrespectful to you, you have every right to go at them. But if people are just living their lives, you should live your life too and not worry about who they're dating.